Welcome to North Metro TV News. Thank you for joining us. I'm Rusty Ray. First up today, a thief with a power tool can steal a catalytic converter from your car in a matter of minutes. It can also cost the car owner more than $1,000 to repair. But as Mike Johnson tells us, local police suggest one way you can help prevent the theft in the first place. Used car lots, driveways, even church parking lots have been prime hunting grounds for thieves looking to steal catalytic converters. They're part of a car's exhaust system that reduces pollution. Pipes on either end can be cut and they're gone. In Blaine this year, police say 46 have been stolen and last year was even worse. It was absolutely an epidemic. Um, like I said, the Blaine is not the only one that experienced this problem. This was uh, state and countrywide, so uh, absolutely it was an epidemic. Blaine Detective Zach Johnson says without serial numbers on the part, it's hard to prove it's stolen. Without any sort of identification number on anything, uh, obviously oh, somebody only has to say that, oh, they didn't know it was stolen when uh, they purchased it, or they didn't know it was stolen when uh, they bring it into the scrap metal recyclers. Uh, and that goes for the scrap metal recyclers as well, because uh, recycling businesses are required to keep documentation. Uh, and the documentation that they can keep is only as good as the information that they're getting. But you can make them less appealing to thieves. With an engraving tool that costs $25 to $65, you can etch the last eight digits of your car's identification number on the converter. Also, high-temperature automotive exhaust spray paint can alert thieves to move on. A bright red converter should be a warning flag to recyclers. You should assume these are stolen if something comes in that's brightly colored or clearly been altered to get the paint off of it. Uh, that's supposed to be a red flag. Hey, uh, we shouldn't buy this. There are also specially produced marking kits. One label breaks into pieces if an attempt is made to remove it, but underneath, a serial code remains clearly visible on the converter. Officers say other common sense rules also apply, like parking in a well-lit area with a security camera. But nothing is really foolproof. The unfortunate part of the matter is that if somebody is determined to get your converter, uh, it takes them about two or three minutes uh, to do it. But uh, no need to make it any easier for them. Police are also pushing automakers to put identification numbers on the converters at the factory, but that could be years away. For North Metro TV News, I'm Mike Johnson reporting. Investigators say thieves target larger vehicles because they have more than one catalytic converter. Also, some lower emission and hybrid cars are more likely targets because their converters contain more precious metals. Consumers may be able to mark their converters themselves, but many repair shops can do it as well. Of the 46 converters stolen in Blaine so far this year, many came from larger vehicles like pickup trucks. Police say thieves ripped 12 converters from Ford Super Duty pickups and Econoline vans. Nine came from Chevrolet Silverado pickup trucks and six came off of Honda CRVs.